I am California of the past. I am California of the past. I am California of the past. My Navy career spanning three different wars leaves me with a good feeling because I've done things that uh, I never would have done had I been staying at home and working in the, my little old town of Erie, Pennsylvania. So I have uh, been able to meet uh, people from three different countries. So yeah, I, I feel that uh, it, was, it was advantageous to me to have been uh, able to serve in all three of the different wars. Hopefully, it gave me an insight into the three different cultures. So, When I came in in 1950, then, of course, the ship that I was on was uh, a, a destroyer tender. And a destroyer tender is the one that uh, uh, upkeeps and maintains all of the destroyers in the, that Pacific fleet. And, of course, naturally, you get shore leave. So, naturally, I went ashore and uh, while visiting in the uh, city of Kamakura, that's where I did meet my uh, dearly beloved little girl and uh, she was a little one and uh, so her next door neighbor owned a, a tea house and of course we went to the tea house and spent a lot of time together. We had two dictionaries, one was English to Japanese, the other one was Japanese to English. So that was basically the means of our communications. Boom, 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 boom. And uh, I wore mine out and she wore hers out. Of course I was on a ship and while on the ship I decided to uh, check with the chaplain who is the one that uh, has to either give you the okay or not. And the uh, chaplain says, well, absolutely not. I will not authorize it at all. And he says, either you have yourself fixed or you have her fixed so you can't have children because the children are the ones that will suffer. So that being said, I said, well, okay, I'll wait. And so I waited until I was uh, transferred off in the ship onto the uh, base there in Yokosuka where I went to the chaplain there, and he was a Jewish chaplain, and he said, I see no reason why you shouldn't be able to get married. So he says, I'll agree with it and help you in any way that I can. So I married uh, by the uh, Japanese way it was 57 years because it was 1952. And that's when we went to the Yokohama City Hall and took her name off in the Koseki Tohon. A lot of people don't understand what the Koseki Tohon is, which it is a uh, a family history, and once you remove your name from that family history, you're no longer even a part of that family. That, that's it. You're you're no longer there. You, uh, her brother said, you can't even be buried in your your family's uh, uh, tombstone because you're no longer a, a member of our family. So you know they they're completely uh, without a background anymore. So, and that's the way we we are married there first, uh, as I say, in the uh, American Council. And then uh, later on, I mean, later on, after we went to the American Council, that's when the official one, that was 1954. So there was a two-year period there. But anyhow, you, you, it must have worked because, I mean, we've, we've been married now, what, 57 years. So, yeah, I think it probably worked all right.